Mindy, are you excited? Are you excited? Do you know what day it is? Do you know what day it is? Mindy, tell everyone what day it is. Do you know why today is special for Ima? Do you know? No? Should I tell you? Let me tell you. storm in Israel. Today is a very special day. No, it's not my birthday, but it's kind of similar. Today is my Aliyah anniversary. Three years ago on this very day, I landed in Israel and became officially an Israeli citizen. So exciting and I cannot believe that I have lived here for three whole years. And not only have I lived here, I have survived and I would even say that I am pretty successful. What is Aliyah? For those of you who don't know, Aliyah is the Hebrew word we use for immigration to Israel. It literally means to ascend and so basically they say when you become an Israeli citizen you're basically leveling up. So three years ago I leveled up. I was thinking about the last three years and what the heck have I been doing here and actually I've been doing a lot. My Aliyah has been pretty successful. That's why today I'm going to count down 10 amazing things that I have accomplished in the last three years of Aliyah. One, I completed five months of intensive ulpan. Ulpan is what we call formal Hebrew learning and a lot of olim, immigrants in Israel, do an ulpan because it's free from the government and I did one called ulpan etzion in Jerusalem and that's how I ended up in Jerusalem. I learned a lot of ulpan etzion but I definitely have to say most of my Hebrew comes from dating Israelis. Just being honest, the best ulpan you Number two, I voted in Israeli elections. I was so lucky. Just a few months after I made Aliyah, they had elections in Israel and I got to vote and that was very exciting because I think it's so special and so amazing that I live in both a democratic and Jewish country and that I got to participate in that so soon after becoming a citizen. Yes, Israel is a democracy. We vote here, but we have a parliamentary system, so it is very different from the United States. My European people, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you want to know more about that, you can ask me because it's very complicated. Number three, I worked at Masa Israel Journey. This was my first full-time big girl job and I wouldn't have been able to move on to the job that I have now without the experience that I had there and I also made so many of what are now some of my best friends in Israel while they were participants and then a lot of them made Aliyah too and that's really exciting. Four, I was written about in the J Post. The J Post is an English Israeli news publication and a man there was writing a series of articles about Olim and my story was published in the J Post and that's really exciting for me because coming from a mixed background and just kind of being unique here I guess I really like to share my story with people because I think it teaches them about the diversity of their own country and that's kind of part of the reason I even have this YouTube channel because I want people to know that every kind of person lives in Israel including people like me. Number five, I met a ton of Israeli celebrities and I want to emphasize Israeli celebrities as in these people are only famous to Israelis, Americans, anyone else in the world. You probably don't care about these people but whatever, I don't care. I met Omri Caspi, Amos Oz, he's a famous Israeli author, Hatik Vashesh which is like this really awesome Israeli band. I met Cafe Shechol Hazak four times. They're the loves of my life, but I think I've made that pretty clear to you guys. They're an Ethiopian Israeli hip hop group. I met Kinsey from Apollo Yerushalayim. He used to be in the NBA and this year he plays for the Jerusalem basketball team. And he gave me this Pharrell sweatshirt. So now I match with my brother and I have this really cool sweatshirt. And I love it. And it smells like him. I met Amari Stoudemire because he also used to play for the Jerusalem basketball team. American people, if you're into basketball, that's probably pretty cool. And I met Nir Barkat. He's like our celebrity mayor of Jerusalem. He's a super cool guy. And I also met Yair Lapid, who is a politician, part of the Yesh Atid party. And some say he might be the next prime minister of Israel. No, that was not an endorsement. That was just what some people say. 
Number six, I danced on stage with Cafe Shohol Hazak, but you already know that because I showed you in a video because it was so exciting. I'm still excited about it. Just thinking about it makes me excited. Okay, okay. Number seven, I adopted Mindy, my puppy. I have no family here, so it's really important that I have Mindy and we love each other. And I have successfully raised her for two years of her life and I hope to have her forever. Okay, you can go now. Number eight, I moved into apartment all by myself. I feel like I am adulting so hard because I live alone, I pay my own bills, I buy my own food, I do my own laundry. Much to my parents' surprise, I am surviving and thriving as an adult in my own apartment. And they even came and they got to stay with me and I felt so grown up to have my own place and host my parents in my house with my dog. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Number nine, I got my Israeli passport finally and my Israeli driver's license. So the rule here in Israel is that you have three years after you officially make Aliyah to transfer your license from one country to another. I literally did that this last month and I waited till the last second and they made me go into the office three different times. It was so stupid. They gave me all this runaround. I've had my driver's license since I was 16. It was ridiculous, but I finally got it and I officially have my passport and my driver's license, which I think makes me super Israeli. And finally, number 10 is that I started my second big girl full-time job at Jerusalem U and I'm growing professionally every day and I'm really proud of myself. Sorry to toot my own horn. Moving to a foreign country by yourself, especially Israel, is difficult, but I am really proud of myself and all that I've accomplished in the last three years. And if it means anything, if I can do something like this, you for sure can do something. Follow your dreams. I know it sounds cliche, but I was so worried to move to Israel and you know, I have no family here and I didn't know Hebrew and things are different in the Middle East. But you know what? It's been awesome and there's ups and downs and I haven't always had the best time but every time I leave Israel, all I can think about is how much I miss Israel and I know that I'm living in the right place and I hope that the next three years will be full of more success and more Israeli celebrities and I want to invite all of you to come visit me in Israel because I would love to show you my home. for watching this video and celebrating my Aliyah anniversary with me. Please don't forget to like and comment below and if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. <laughs>